Well, you guys have asked me to do the review on the uh, 303 Safari Red Wolf. Well, um, I'm down at a, a private range uh, with Tony Belis and Dave State, um, only place that I can do this. Uh, so keep watching and I'll tell you what I think about it. Don't forget to visit www.ergonology.com. On there you'll find all of our social media links and forums and 3D printed sections. Facebook group is there for you to discuss anything you want to do with air rifles, air pistols and technology. Our dedicated forum where you can buy and sell anything that you want with regards to air rifles and air pistols. As well as our 3D printed section where you'll find the cradles that you can purchase for the chronographs for FX and the ATM ballistic rangefinders. Alright guys, welcome to another video from Ergonology. This is Steve here. Um, and on this channel we do a whole load of videos on air rifles, air pistols and technology. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to check out all of our other Facebook links, our forums and don't forget our brand new merchandising as well. So anyway, um, I've got the... Uh, they state Red Wolf Safari here. Now this is a high powered version of the Red Wolf. Um, so those guys that um, are unfamiliar with the Red Wolf, check out the other videos I've got up here. You will see them there. Um, but it's pretty much the same as those type of, uh, as the other Red Wolves. Um, but it comes in this gorgeous stock. Um, I love this stock. I really, really do need to talk to Day State. See if I can get one, hold of one of these stocks for my Red Wolf when I want to take it out. But um, Basically what we got here is obviously a PCP rifle um, and this is uh, available in the high powered and what I've got here is the 303 version and this uh, currently is shooting at uh, uh, 70, 80 foot pounds. So let's just walk through the rifle as usual. For those that are used to the Red Wolf will be very familiar. At the back we've got um, a butt stock uh, which you can lift up and down and tilt it a little bit on there and then we have this um, nice soft touch uh, cheek piece which you can lift up and down. The stock itself is an ambidextrous stock and you can switch the lever, the cocking lever, just like all the other Red Wolves, onto the left or onto the right hand side. But gorgeous stock, really, really nice. I do love this stock. I'm definitely get some close up pictures of this for you. Um, nice trigger area up here. So um, you can actually shoot this with your thumbs up or your thumbs wrapped around. Um, the standard day state uh, safety catch at the back. Now again, this is an electronic rifle. Uh, so it's got a little electronic brain in here. So um, basically it's measuring the air pressure in the bottle. It knows how much it's got to put behind the pellet. And it's basically, that's how the regulating system works. It knows how hard it needs to hit to let the right amount of pressure in and out of it there. Um, we have a cocking handle on the side here. Now I'm not gonna cock and fire this because it's uh, a, a FAC rifle at 80 foot pounds and you shouldn't really be doing that with these rifles. But basically we have a cocking lever at the side here super butter smooth on there. Um, magazine system goes inside here. I'll leave you the shot counts of to what uh, they are. Um, if we flip the rifle around on the other side, we see the electronic brain of it here. So you can set this between low, medium and high power. So it's the different mappings that are in here. And down at the bottom, we have the standard um, Red Wolf electronic trigger. Um, whisper, whisper quiet. Um, and so sweet to, to pull on there. Um, these triggers are just fantastic, full match grade trigger, fully adjustable, however you wanna do it. Up the top we have our standard 11mm dovetails up the top, um, so you can fit a variety of scopes on there. The only thing you do have to watch out is for clearance to make sure that you can get your magazine in and out. It's the same with most rifles. And of course we have a full match barrel, which has got the full, um, as usual, Red Wolf carbon surround on it. Um, absolutely fantastic. I'll leave weights, figures and everything for you up above as I normally do. And then down at the bottom here we have the 480cc uh, carbon bottle. So the shot counts obviously are going to vary massively depending on the foot pound that you're running at with this FAC rifle. So you are not going to be looking at obviously at the 4500 shot counts on there. But again I'll leave facts and figures up above for you. Um, fill probes underneath um, with the usual uh, day state magnetic lock on here so you can just take the lock on and off like so um, so you're getting it lost standard Foster's fill adapt on there and then the battery is housed in underneath here so I'll leave pictures of the Red Wolf where the battery is in here um, you can see that basically a lot of people say with these batteries do they last ages you know what if you run out uh, my Red Wolf I've had 
I think I've charged it twice and I've put thousands of shots for it. So you've got nothing to worry about. Um, when you do do the battery in here, it's advisable to take the battery out to charge it because it's a LiPo. You don't want to be damaging your rifle if something goes wrong with the battery. So nice and simple, doesn't take long to charge it all up. As with all of the Red Wolves, the electronic safety has a timeout on it. So if you basically have got the rifle um, and you've cocked it or you've left it for more than five minutes, it will generally time out. And then all you've got to do is flip the switch across and back on again and it wakes it up. It's very much like a screen saver that you get in your computer. But um, very much exactly the same as the Red Wolf, the standard Red Wolf, the one that I've had and uh, play with and that you've seen many, many times, but obviously much, much higher power on it. Um, and a, a few little other enhancements. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go and take this out with Tony and I'm gonna have a bit of a play with it. Uh, it's my first time shooting an FAC and certainly my first time actually um, get into grips with the safari and see how well we do. And we'll come back and I'll bring a special guest in as well. And we'll have a chat as well about uh, the Red Wolf Safari. And um, I'll tell you what I think about it. Right guys, um, we're in our little private range here. I've got Tony here and I've got the safari. The first time I've got my hands on this 80 foot pound 303. Last time I shot a 303, it hurt my shoulder and it was in the cadets. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tony, is there anything special about this that you should do? Is it just behave okay, just like a normal red Yeah, and fix safety catch up. So, safety catch and basically it's exactly the same as a normal red one. Absolutely. Am I going to get a kick? No, nothing at None all. None at all? None at all. Right, well let's give this a go. First time, guys. Let's see how we get on. Woo! <laughs> I flinched. <laughs> wow. Yeah, take a couple of shots to get used to it. Whoa! A bit more energy there, you definitely notice it. Jeez! That actually, you do actually feel that move. Yeah, there's a bit, you do get a jabber. Wow. Might need the beat machine. Now. You yeah. can hear that hit. That's a massive fun. The last one. Right guys, so we've got the 303 Safari uh, at 25 meters. Yes, a bit of a silly range to do this at, but just see what we get, five shots, and then we'll move it out to 50 meters. Camera down range, hopefully I don't destroy it. So it's done. So we're going to move it out to 50 meters and see how well we do. Right, so we've got the Red Wolf Safari out at 50 meters. And it would be a shame if I did all of the shooting all of the time. So come on, Tony, show us what the Safari can do at 50 meters.
Is it any good? It's all right. It's all right. It? <laughs> yes, it's all right. It's a nice ride. Should people buy one? Absolutely, today. <laughs> Hi there guys, so we're back, uh, awful awful rainy day but we managed to get some, a bit of shooting done with it, like I said it's my first time with uh, an FAC rifle, so I did the 25 meter shooting with it and uh, as you saw, as you'd expect, it just left one great big hole, um, 303, the size of the pellet's fantastic. Um, Super, super accurate. Um, this exactly the only way I can really describe the Safari is exactly the same as my Red Wolf uh, in 177 sub 12 foot pound. Uh, you know how much I love it. Everything about this is exactly the same. It just is a bit louder and fires a lot more lead down the range. And it does let off quite a bit of a. For me, it was quite a surprise when I first fired it because I'm not used to FAC, but. Yeah, it certainly does. It's got a slight, so as you fire it, you can just feel it slightly go. It's not as you'd expect with powder burners or anything like that. But um, with the trigger that we have on here, uh, the electronic trigger, it is just so sweet and so nice to use. So um, I absolutely love it. I wish I could have one of these, um, but there's a whole many hoops and hurdles. And uh, to be honest, I can't justify myself at the moment going FAC just for one of these. I'd have to join a club or something like that. But um, I do want to um, bring in a special guest star. Come on, Tony, get over here, hanging over in the wings. Come and come and park your park your derriere there. So, uh, Tony, um, tell me about uh, the the major differences between this and a standard low powered. Red Wolf. Okay, so this was developed as a, um, it was a, a, one of the things that we were working on a couple of years ago was a higher power version. Basically, we were aiming to get 40% more energy out of the electronics mm -hmm. than, than was available at that time. Yep. Uh, the GCU um, electronics were developed for Pulsar originally, then put into Red Wolf with a few adaptions. Yep. And then there was a program to increase the power uh, by David Snook and he got the power up an extra 40% and they put it into a rifle and it works out about 20% more muzzle energy. Okay. Uh, so they were able to get it from, uh, the two twos went up from 50 to 55 to 65 and the two five. And that's the high powered version that's of the two That's the high powered version. Yeah. So it just immediately put the power up and it's got the 303 version up from 70 to 80. 80 foot So pound. with the new electronic with the GCU 2.0, they combined that with a new barrel, a new 2.5 barrel and a new 303 barrel, which are developed by the Accuracy Research Team, yep. both in America and in the UK. Uh, different twist rates, different profiling, different chokes. Yep. And uh, so you have this extra, um, you know, extra good barrel, yep. um, some very nice powerful electronics, and that's been put together in a safari package with this very special stock. I do, I do like yeah. this stock. I want yeah. one of these. I've told you before I want one of these stocks. We are going to, we are going to allow them to go out um, now, really, for 12 foot pound. Yeah. So if you wanted a, a, a 12 foot pound Red Wolf with a Safari stock, that is an option coming moving forward. Okay. And the barrel on this, is it slightly, obviously it's a longer barrel being a 303. Is it a yeah, same, 60 is it, centimetre. Is it the same barrel as the sub 12 foot pound, or is it a different no, barrel? No, it's a completely different barrel. It's a, but not only is it longer, but it's got a different profile and yeah. different twist rate. Okay, cool. Uh, awesome. It's a polygon as well. So it, oh, it's yeah, a polygon pack. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the word I was prompting you for there. Yeah. Absolutely. So fantastic. I'm done. The Safari itself, um, what calibers can we get in? Is it only uh, 303? No, it'll, uh, you can have a 30 foot pound 177. Wow. Yeah, a, uh, a, a, uh, up to 65 foot pound 22, yeah. 65 foot pound 25, and an 80 foot pound uh, 30 caliber. But the other thing to mention is it's electronic, so you've got three power settings. Yeah, I've mentioned we so, talked yeah, so yeah. you've got that as well. So you've got, uh, they're digitally accurate. So if you felt you didn't want an 80 foot pound, you could drop it down. I think it goes down to about 55 or something. That's the low power. Yeah. And then it go, and you've got a medium power as well. Well, as I say, it was absolutely fantastic rifle to shoot. Um, it was certainly an eye opener for me, an introduction to massive great big bits of lead <laughs> flying down the range. <laughs> Stupid power rates. Fun. It's yeah. a shame we couldn't get any uh, melons out there or pumpkins or something to well, fire. We fired over 100 pellets. Yep. And we filled the gun six times. Well, only to top it up because we didn't just want it to drop top, off. Top it up. So, yeah. what sort of what, where are we looking at shot count with this? With this, uh, they're supposed to do thirty shots. I think it's just about doing thirty yeah. shots. Yeah, you, ex you, ex you expect that the amount of lead this thing is yeah. chucking down the range. But anyway, guys. Um, I've managed to do it. It's a bit of an unusual um, review, this, obviously, because of um, I don't have FAC, and there's only so many places you can shoot one of these bad boys. So a massive thank you to Tony. Thank you. Um, 
and check out the websites um, and if always uh, leave your comments and thoughts down below I'd love to know what you think have you got one of the uh, Red Wolf Safaris what do you think of it um, and I'd love to know and don't forget to subscribe catch you on the next video